So we've got three areas at, at the school. We've got uh, the props department, we've got painting or scenic art and construction. You do all three. You're, you're never doing the same thing over and over again. You learn processes which are used again and again, so similar things, but uh, you're never doing the same production. There's always something different. It's, it's a different project every time. I think it just keeps it exciting. So yeah, I love that about it. So we'll start off in one department and then we'll move through the different departments as, as different shows come up. And it's giving you such a wide range of skills. So, you know, there's woodwork, there's sewing, there's painting, there's all sorts of different things in props. And I think it just opens up such a wide range of avenues so you don't just channel yourself into one sort of career path. The first year is deliberately broad-based to give the students a good grounding in all aspects of theatre alongside their pathway training. In the second and third year it's very much on-the-job training, working on productions alongside designers and in small teams. What's really interesting and nice about Guildhall is that we are invited to pre-production meetings and progress meetings to see how other departments are working towards their finished lighting design or finished sound. We get such a good understanding of how theatre works in terms of uh, with other courses and people who do things like lighting or sound or production management. We all work together and it just gave me such a good insight into how it is done in the industry. It's so nice to be in a learning environment and to have access to all these different machines and materials. The workshops are well equipped and we try to keep up with technology used in the industry. So these days we're teaching students how to use the CNC router, laser cutter and vacform machine and 3D printers alongside more traditional skills. I came to the open day when they were doing, I think it's um, the Cunning Peasant, and just as soon as I stepped on the stage, and just to see the scale of the shows that, that happen here, uh, I was immediately drawn. Because we have so many different venues, all different sizes, it's great because um, I know what it would be like to work in a studio, to work in a th massive theatre like Silk Street, so it really prepares us for the industry in that sense. So we're currently working on The Tale of January, which is the opera that's currently on, and we've been helping in the scenic art, so we've been looking at trying to realise the design of the designer, uh, working to a 1 to 25 scale model, and then realising that 25 times bigger. And then once that's created, it's great to see your work used and appreciated by the actors as well as the audience. One of the strengths of the course is the high staff-student ratio. We have six full-time members of staff to seven students in each year group, so we can work closely with and support our students really well. It's so unique and so special to Guildhall that we do have um, lecturers that are industry professionals because we're getting first-hand experience and they're giving us knowledge and experience that they've seen and, and, and done and practised themselves. Students also undertake a placement. This might be London-based at the National Theatre or the London Dungeons or can be much further afield like the Sydney Opera House. Guildhall really uh, centres around that, around finding you work outside of the school because they are always thinking about preparing you for the workplace. It's not just a question of coming here and learning stuff and etc. But it's taking that and taking it into the workplace. The course is aimed primarily at students who want a career in theatre but the transferable skills they learn translate well to film, interiors, theming, or sometimes they go on to do work in design. 